Hi, people. Um, first thing I'd like to talk to you about is, actually I have a poem that I'm going to do for you, but I want to talk to you about the very common plastic bag. Okay. I've had to carry many, many of these in my time for the at least 20 something years I've been in poverty, um, carrying groceries back home, carrying, transporting things when you move uh, from place to place and so forth. Uh, so many a time, this has been a very full bag. Right now it's an empty bag and doesn't hurt me at all to hold. However, I will tell you this, that when this is completely full and when it is very, well, a lot of things in there, especially big things like heavy gallons of milk or something like that, uh, these, these plastic handles will literally rip through your hands. You feel like they're just ripping through your hands. You have a distance to carry them, any kind of distance at all with a heavy object in them. And they will make, you know, obviously make marks on your hand. <clears throat> but your hand will literally feel like it's going numb. Sometimes it actually does. Um, especially if you have to go a distance. So, out of this plastic bag, it's a very harmless plastic bag by itself, but when it is full and heavy, it is, it is absolutely difficult to, uh, to transport. And even the, you know, people who are poor, a lot of the elderly, um, people who are down on their luck and so forth, have a really hard time taking, you know, having to carry these things daily. This is a daily occurrence for many people who just don't have. So I would like to do my poem based on that plastic bag. I wrote a poem called Plastic Bag Blues. Here we go. Carrying heavy grocery bags, too many blocks at a time. The plastic handles rip through my hands, and pain shoots up my neck and shoulders. As these bags that seem to have the weight of boulders, welcome to my plastic bag blues. Cursing every car whizzing by, it's really not the car's fault though. Their drivers never had to do this in order to get their food home. So it isn't fair to curse their crumb. Welcome to my plastic bag blues. Now I'm rushing as my hands go numb. I clumsily struggle due to sheer weight. Discomfort shows through etched lines of my face, stumbling homeward bound to release my piles as this rugged walk feels like miles and miles. Welcome to my plastic bag blues. Um, I just wanted a glimpse. I wanted to give people a glimpse into what I've had to experience in my years of poverty. Carrying plastic bags has been one of the biggest pains, seriously. Aside from not knowing where we were going to live, how we were going to eat, things like that. You know, I've, I've experienced all of that. And bags, plastic bags, make you out to be like a bag lady for sure. You know, I don't like that, I don't like those derogatory terms any more than I like things like, okay, I have lived in a mobile home before. And I don't like the term white trash and things like that. I think these are just ridiculous terms that people use. I don't know why they use them. I really don't know why we, you know, point out at people and say, oh, you're such and such. Oh, you're this, you're that. Why do people do this? It's counter to what they need to be doing. You know, where's the help? Why aren't they helping instead of pointing fingers at? I'm sorry, that, I'm getting off on a tangent, but that's my frustration 
with things like this. When people, when people uh, have problems with hungry and homeless people, they never ask the hungry and homeless people what they need. They always try to come up with solutions uh, in their own mind, but if they've never experienced it, how would they know? They need to go right to the source and ask the people who are experiencing it daily what they should do. Trust me, they would have some pretty good answers. Sometimes I think it's just the people in charge that don't want to hear the answers. They don't really want to fix it. They don't want to take the money to. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for you know, listening to my poems. And oh, take care. <laughs>